The need for SWAT maps just came out of the premise that doing field average sampling and recommendations for soil applied products like fertilizers and seeds, you know, didn't make economic sense, wasn't the right agronomic methodology for targeting the areas. When we first started in our precision agriculture journey, I would say the dominant methodologies were things like satellite imagery and grid sampling, and we were creating maps based on soil, water, and topography variability. We were mapping soil properties, we were modeling water, and where it went, and where the depressions were flooding, and you know, the, those natural words that define the style of map that we were building just came into play. and. Yeah, the name stuck and it's been become a great brand for us. Swap Maps is a 10 zone soil potential map based on soil, water, and topography. They are the base foundation layer for variable rate seed, fertilizer, or other soil applied products. The Soil Potential Program is the first six steps of the SWOT ecosystem. The first step in the soil potential process is to head out to the field and map it using SWAT Box. The SWAT Map service provider will map the field on 80 foot passes while also driving any extra passes through any extra variability that needs to be captured. Any variability such as soil salinity, maybe a water collecting depression or a water shedding knoll, all needs to be captured to generate the best swap map possible for the field. Once the field is mapped, the data is then streamed from the swap box to the swap record servers, where it can be easily accessed by the swap map developers. The swap map developers will download the data, process it, and generate a series of maps based on different levels of variability throughout the field. Once the maps are created, they are then transferred back to the SWAT map service provider. The service provider will then review the maps and select the best map that represents the variability of the field. Once the map is selected, we should not have to return to the field to remap. Once the field is ground truthed and the map is selected, the SWAT map service provider will then soil sample the field. We sample five of the 10 SWAT zones, ensuring we capture the extreme high and extreme low variability of the field, and then collecting a representative sample in between. The soil sample locations are tagged in the SWAT records app for the SWAT map service provider to return to year after year to ensure we're collecting soil samples from the same points of the field. Once the soil test results are received, they're uploaded to SWAT records where they can be easily accessed and reviewed. Once they are reviewed, the SWAT map service provider will then provide you with recommendations for your field. Once these recommendations are approved, you will then be provided with your prescription for your variable rate seed, fertilizer, or other soil applied products. The final step in the soil potential process is to analyze the soil nutrients, textures, and carbon data. As much as it's a very important map, it's not just a map. It's the core brand of on the door of any service provider that's providing the full ecosystem of services. It's the foundation of training, support, and software that runs through everything that we do. And I would say it's what we've become to be known for. And that's why everyone comes to us is to get that map. Our experience with SWAT maps has been, has been very good. I know I'm growing better crops by using them. The technology that we are using and, uh, and that we're applying to our fields, um, it's, it's, it's doing wonderful things for us. It's our only variable rate offering. Um, it's the base map that we utilize to, to do all of our agronomy on, whether it's fertility, seeding rates, um, we utilize for herbicides. It's been good working with the SWAT team is also excellent. We are very supported as, a, as an independent business and it's nice to have that support to work with our clients. In the future, I think what's being built around the concept of the SWAT map is, is going to be like a lot of different tools, doing a lot of different analytics so that people could say model water and model different things related to, you know, the profitability within across the field and probably a dozen other ways that people are going to use it. And, as a smaller tool, but it's just still running in the background as sort of their, their key functionality.